Dr. Stacy Shillington, and I am here today to talk about facial mapping and acne. And I know there's a lot of different things going on around the internet, and um, it just shows where different breakouts are and how they correspond to the health of your inner body. So that is what we're going to talk about today, and um, I find it really interesting now. I had to drive my parents, I was up north with my family for our summer vacation. I had to drive my parents back to the airport yesterday, which means I left my kids and my husband up north. I had a completely like free night last night. No kids, no husband, it was just me alone in my house. And what did I do? I ended up going through all my Chinese medical texts looking for the definitive face map the ancient face map from like 5,000 years ago that everybody's been using to diagnose, you know, the internal health. So I'm going to show you all the textbooks that I went through last night. Okay, hopefully this doesn't screw up, but look at this. So like I have everything. I went through infertility, facial acupuncture. Here, now you've seen all those. I even had like my manual of dermatology and Chinese medicine, um, the practice of Chinese medicine, I went through acupuncture point combinations, constitutional facial acupuncture, Chinese medicine classic, the web that has no weaver, um, the organ systems of traditional Chinese medicine, the foundation of Chinese medicine, I did this all night, okay? And what I've concluded after going through this is, well, barely any of these texts mention facial mapping, none. There was one diagram that I found in a compilation text. This is my textbook from school. And there's one diagram of a face with facial mapping in it. What I did learn is that in Chinese medicine, they typically diagnose based on the color of the skin, whether it's, you know, really white, which means there's, it's pale and there's a deficiency, deficiency in, this, in the body, or if it's really red and inflamed, there's heat in the body. So Chinese diagnose mostly on the color, not necessarily where blemishes are located. But there is this one diagram and it is from an ancient text called the Su Wen, which of course I've never read and I will never read. Um, but it's interesting to look at it because I compared this facial map with some of the more popular ones out on the internet. And I also compared it with my clinical experience, what I've seen in acne patients over the last 10 years. And I think that there, this, I think that this diagram is actually, there's some really, you know, right, there's some things that really make a lot of sense. So let's go through on your face. When you have acne, what is it telling you according to ancient Chinese texts? So the forehead, the forehead is the area that's connected to the heart. And when you talk about the heart in Chinese medicine, you talk about the state of the mind. You talk about stress, anxiety, insomnia. These are all factors that contribute to acne that's on the forehead. And I see this now, often I see acne on the forehead when there's a teenager, somebody who's in their teens, in their early 20s, and their hormones are imbalanced still. So we're waiting for everything to calm down. Usually it's a dietary fix. The acne is typically not cystic, it's more surface. Um, so, and I guess these kids might be stressed too. I don't know, but in Chinese medicine, heart, stress, acne. Okay, so I'm not really like excited and I'm not really like just focusing my diagnosis of forehead acne based on Chinese medicine yet. I find it's more teen, more early 20s. Um, then on the right side of the cheek is the lung. And this is associated with allergies, asthma, respiratory illnesses, or conditions, or smoking. So specifically, acne on the right cheek. Um, this is what the texts say. This is what a lot of the face maps on the internet say. 
do I really see, I don't really see that in my practice. Um, but I do notice, and on the left side of the cheek, which is the liver, I do see acne on the cheeks often, and the way that I treat it is I treat it for liver. So right and left, I always treat liver, and it's usually, again, not cystic, it's usually more surface, and treating the liver is a lot of diet work, a lot of detoxification. Um, then there is the, the issue of constipation, which is a huge one in Chinese medicine, and uh, they treat acne by you know increasing the, the digestion and healing the digestion a lot. And I see this a lot. Now, typically around the mouth and in the chin area, this is ac when acne appears in this area, it's often related to digestion. It's often related to constipation. I see this a lot. I really find that's accurate. When I treat the constipation, that acne will go away. So that I, I see a lot. And then of course the kidney area, which is right here. And this, I mean, as women, if we have acne in this area, we know it's hormonal, it's deep, it's cystic, it's painful. It often correlates with our cycles. So um, jawline acne is hormonal. So that is basically it in a nutshell. And so I'm just gonna go over it again really quickly. So if you have acne here, according to Chinese medicine, that is the kidneys and that is also hormonal because the kidneys regulate reproduction in Chinese medicine. So often there could be menstrual dysregularities. There could be a PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, and so balancing the hormones is what we need to address acne in this area. If, and it's, yeah, it's always cystic most often. And then around the mouth and the chin, that's digestion. So if there's constipation, if there's food sensitivities, um, that is what needs to be work on, worked on when you have acne in this area. And then acne on the cheeks, this is more liver. So again, not often cystic, more surface acne. And this often has to be addressed by cleansing the body and detoxing. And also in between the eyebrows, if there's blemishes in this area, this as well relates to the liver detoxing and cleansing. And in terms of the in terms of the forehead, I'm out on that one. The ancient Chinese text says that it relates to the heart. Um, another source I said I read said it relates more to the mind. So that does correlate. So maybe relaxation and stress is key to addressing acne in this area. I've always seen it in younger people and address it by you know getting cleaning up their diet getting a lot, rid of a lot of sugar a lot of um, bad fats and uh, getting rid of chocolate and dairy will clear up more of this area so so that is it in a nutshell so I hope that makes sense to you if you have any questions at all let me know shoot me an email or comment on this video and uh, yeah if you want more information, check out my website, www.naturopathicbeauty.com. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram because I want to give you some great acne tips. I want to help you clear your skin because I know how devastating acne is. I've suffered it with it myself and I just really feel like there's no time anymore to deal with acne. Like We just need to solve this problem get on with our lives because there's so much to do. So very excited. My acne program is going to be launching in just a few weeks. And um, this is the definitive acne program. It's all the knowledge that I've learned, learned uh, treating patients over the last 10 years, plus also battling acne myself. This is an issue that's close to my heart. So there you have it. So have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in and let me know if you have any questions.